Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, yes, we have to talk about the brand new teaser that was released on the official Winx Club YouTube channel, showing us a bunch of new stuff for the upcoming Winx Club season nine slash reboot series. So in this teaser, we get to see all of the girls in their new fairy looks. We get to see more shots of Alfia. We get to see a little bit of a, like a snippet of Flora's transformation. We also hear a little bit of the voices for each character and more so stay tuned to subscribe and let's get into it by the way also by the makers of wings club we have a brand new series called mermaid magic this actually fully released on netflix with the first season and i have been subscribed to their youtube channel as well so i have seen some of their videos that they have been posting but i haven't seen like any of the episodes yet so what do you have you heard of this season of like of this new series um are you watching it do you want me to like cover it make a whole video talking about the first season or yeah should i should i talk about it? i just to me i'm not sure i just it looked i don't know <laughs> i don't know if it looks like something that i want to watch but um i'll give it a go i mean you know i i looked at unicorn academy once too and that was cute um so maybe i should give this a go too but let me know if you would like to see me you know make like a breakdown video on the first season because again they're made by the same people who are making right now the new Winx club series so i do think that they they do you know like they're a spiritual kind of like spin-off off of you know wings club so i feel like yeah maybe i should look at it but um what do you think yeah let me now know. keep in mind that this teaser just shows us mostly some you know work in progress shots and mostly it's also concept art of stuff that they're working on obviously for the actual series and the series will release sometime next year so it's still you know majorly like in development like i don't think a lot of it is finished yet but uh i, gu I guess some scenes are finished because we do get to see some of those as well in this um teaser but mostly like for the fairy transformations aside for flora um they're all concept art kind of like you know like rendered so they're not fully like shown like how they will look like in a series yet but it's a good first look i guess to visualize what the girls will look like casually but also in their new fairy looks which is very exciting also like being able to hear what they sound like with i what i'm assuming are new voice actors as well um is definitely also very exciting because i do think that's also going to change up um and like set the tone for what this new series is you know bringing to the table so the first uh little bits we see in the teaser are actually of a bloom in her new fairy look i'm not sure what they're gonna be what this new fairy transformation will be called or like you know what it yeah what is it all about i have no clue but this is basically what the you know bloom bloom's new fairy uh transformation will look like so the wings are you know very colorful like i definitely think it's like a mashup of like different prior transformations obviously very inspired um but i like the wings uh the ponytail has like little beads in it like it's so interesting like little braids as well um and in her actual outfit we obviously don't get a good look at the complete outfit yet and obviously these are also just you know pictures they're not actual like fully rendered character models in the show but it is a good visualizer for again like what they will look like because th th these outfits these uh, fairy looks costumes are going to be the ones that we see on the finalized uh, characters in the series um as well uh, as when we see flora's you know we do get to see her a uh, fairy costume fully rendered and on her character model so this is how they're gonna look like in their actual you know series counterpart um here it's just you know 2d so i think her look here it's cute the shorts with the like the little um skirt look i guess like the <laughs> like the panel of fabric over the shorts um cute the top it like there's a lot of like shimmery textures going on like glitter look as well um the boots and i think it looks good i i like it i don't think um Again, I think it really uh, depends on how it actually ends up looking in the series. Um, it could look better. It could look blander, you know, uh, but I, I hope that this translates well because I, I, I like... I like the concept. I think it's cute. <laughs> Next, we have Aisha or Layla. I do wonder how they're going to address her in the series, like what name they're going to use. I think probably Aisha or, you know, Layla. I guess, you know, both are valid. Uh, so here we have her. Um, she, I like the hairstyle, the teal beads in her hair. Um, then the wings, also very similar to Bloom's, just, you know, different colors, basically. Um, she's also wearing what seems to be these really, like, high boots. Love them. Love the lace-up on the front. And then we also have her outfit 
obviously, which I like the like short situation as well. Like she's wearing shorts, and then over over the shorts, she seems to be wearing these like frills of fabric. Um, and then I like how it's like a little bit of mesh on the top with the sleeves or whatever. Um, yeah, I think it looks good. I like, it's like, there's a lot of like, um, prints on like the the torso um and I, I, yeah i think it's cute but i just i do wonder like if it'll look better or worse in the fully rendered version um it's it's a cute outfit but i i feel like maybe there's just not enough going on here like it's in some ways i feel like the prints on the torso are like too much i i wish that it would have been actually like just a cute top you know like with like asymmetrical or like some cute sleeves um but just being a print like okay it's cute i do like the the little fabrics on the side of her shorts that's cute moving on we have musa she has cute little pigtails uh, as her hairstyle they're also like short pigtails because her hairstyle in the new series is a short hairstyle so that's really cute i love that um that they kept her short hair here um that's definitely just so musa iconic for her um her wings also very vibrant um here her outfit it seems to be uh one piece again but at least her top is like very asymmetrical we have majorly hot pink with some purple um and it connects to the bottom which is um like some shorts and just once again like a lot of glitter sparkles on the entire outfit um which i definitely think you know winx club you think glitter you think sparkles you think you know just like whimsical fairy cutesiness right uh so this is definitely giving that but maybe just a little bit more modern because also she's wearing these high boots um so i feel like that's what they're trying to go for like cutesy fairy very sparkly vibes but also modern with these high boots and maybe all of these asymmetrical cuts with the outfits so um i feel like yeah maybe that's what they're trying to go for um and also the wings the wings are so vibrant like almost like they're reminding me of like neon lights for sure um maybe again they will translate differently in the fully uh rendered versions uh i can't you know i can't preface that enough like that they will look different for sure um but uh, yeah i mean let's see i i think her outfit here at least is very cute i feel like maybe they're missing head accessories like bloom at least had like a high ponytail like the little beads braids um aisha had a couple of like teal beads on her like on the top of her ha ha hairstyle um but i feel like musa here she could have used like a tiara or you know something cute um because i feel like you know in the past you know wings club they always have these lavish hairstyles with really cute hair accessories and i kind of feel like here so far the hair accessories are a little bit lacking or non-existent non -existent at all. So maybe they could have added more hairstyle, hair, hair accessories here as well. Okay, next we have Stella um, and I think she looks so good. We don't actually get to see what her boots or shoes look like. Hopefully, I guess she's also wearing boots to match the other girls or maybe she's wearing something different. I don't know. But um, her, her wings also look very vibrant here. Um, and then her hairstyle, like this is what I'm talking about. At least he, here, Stella has like some stars, a headband on, and then um, her outfit seems to be also like kind of like a two-piece ensemble looking right like it's 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 kind of like cut off but maybe it'll be connected to the bottom um i also hope she's wearing like a skirt or you know something something girly because stella has always been girly um and very fashionable so hopefully she just looks great um with her full ensemble and yeah the colors i think the colors to me definitely speak stella i like her hairstyle and um yeah i think she looks Next, great off tecna and i'm happy to say that she looks great you know i feel like sometimes tecna looks like she gets the short end of the stick unfortunately when it comes to like looks and you know overall outfits and fairy transformations but um i'm yeah she looks great here i don't have complaints um she has her hair it's, it's like shaved on one side that looks insane like yes thank you um but also she has these like uh like te technological devices connecting to her forehead almost like on that one side where it's shaved um i don't know if that's just you know purely like to make it look cool or maybe they actually have a like purpose in a show uh but whatever they are they're like sensors or something they're they just look amazing they they really add to her futuristic um, vibe um and then otherwise from the outfit what, what we can see here is her top she has like a one sleeve on one arm the other arm does not have a sleeve or like a little cuff whatever um but i think it looks good the colors are great obviously and the wings also look very techno so obviously that's great and she also seems to be wearing some type of over knee or high boots so i love that and I, also i love that her boots actually look different 
They're not the same exact design. They do look different. And lastly, we have Flora. Now here, wow, she looks so pretty. I mean, obviously I'm gonna like her because she's like the pink one. <laughs> but but I, I mean, I've always liked Flora. I think she's always been like one of my, I think most people's favorite. I don't know, just like the whole nature fairy thing. Like flowers, obviously, it's just such a perfect concept uh, for a character to have as a power as well. So um, I think her little flower blooms all around her hairstyle is gorgeous. Her braid is actually like super fun and the braid is not like super long. I do think they're trying to like uh, maybe make the hairstyles and the characters actually seem more realistic because the hair hair is not super long on any of these characters so that's very interesting it's like almost like they're trying to make the girls look more realistic so meaning not as long hair anymore unfortunately um but it still looks amazing that you know wings obviously look the wings look great um then the outfit looks really cute i like the flower petals that uh the, her skirt almost look like, looking like fla flower petals so that looks really really good um her skirt also has like two different tones of pink and purple um and i think i like also her little arm Cuffs. they're so cute i just she seems so sweet and actually for flora they do show us a like rendered version of her character model wearing the fairy transformation look and here's actually a fully like colored in kind of like finishing finished looking um model of flora wearing the wings and that fairy costume and i think it looks like the concept art but obviously it's just not as vibrant or as detailed or like sparkly but like this is what you have to imagine for all the other girls with their new fairy costumes they will have the essential like proportions silhouette and construction of the outfits but i think like just the finishing sparkle details and like the vibrancy of the outfits overall perhaps will be more muted overall but i still think she looks so cute here and they even showed us a couple of shots from her transformation scene and i have to say they do look <laughs> exactly how they seem here very you know in your face very animated the you know like the um the way she moves is like very like almost slapstick like it's very like um <laughs> exaggerated <laughs> um yeah i don't know if i love it I, I have to be honest i think it's giving me maybe a little bit too much miraculous ladybug vibes like it's just it seems like a little bit too exaggerated with the motions and the movements um like maybe like it almost seems like she's like made out of rubber like you know like <laughs> but um you know what i'm just gonna yeah no she it still look it, it still looks great and um I, I think you know like the she she looks great at least in the final shot like you know like floating with the wings um like that's really cute like she looks great and i just hope that maybe they, like when we actually see the fully like the full scenes in a series um you know maybe maybe it'll look better maybe they will tweak it obviously it's still not like fully finished um but let's see i just i hope they don't go too animated like too slapstick or you know like bendy with the limbs or like the movements because i think you know it it can take you out of it even if you know it's like even if it is just a animated tv show like still you got to keep some level of realism you know and i feel like here um they just went full on like rubber limbs like we don't care it's a fairy just get on with move get on with it <laughs> like you know and they also show us a couple of you know scenery like uh concept art process you know shots it's like it's a mixture it's like it's storyboard animation but it's also some of some of these shots are also like actual like just concept art of like the environment or like you know like um Farragonda's office or like the Wings Club um uh dormitory so um yeah a lot of this is obviously gonna look different or you know just better in the actual fully rendered version of the series so yeah but it's still good to see and it's still really fun to see like what the early process ideas were for um a lot of these creative environments and you know like how the artist wanted to make certain places look and um alfia also like in the final like almost fully rendered version here it looks great it looks very grandiose very big it's interesting in these last couple of scenes uh we actually get shots of what seems to be a fully finalized um scene from the actual series probably from like the first episode we hear here uh we hear how flora is talking to bloom here um and telling her how we'll teach you everything we know and by we she obviously means her and the other girls um and we actually get to see a little shot here of you know bloom i guess studying in the library and then at the end this last shot which is like the best shot in the entire teaser uh we see all of the five girls 
walking through a portal, portal, and、um, I guess looking at Bloom or something. I, I I don't know what's happening, but like,、um, interesting. You know, like all five of the girls are there,、um, but Bloom is not, because again, Bloom is the outsider. She is the new girl, so I guess maybe、uh, they've gone to rescue Bloom, or maybe they're going to see Bloom somewhere, and maybe Bloom is still in her, you know, hometown or whatever.、Um, I'm not really sure, like what the actual story here is yet, but、uh, I think something along those lines is probably like. You know what's gonna happen, but、um, we, what's interesting is obviously we get to see the girls here、um, in their casual outfits.、Uh, so that's very cool. I think they all look very good.、Um, Musa has her short hair. The pigtails, how cute! Techna, I love the hairstyle as well.、Um, I think all of their outfits are good. I like Flora's the best, probably just because it's really cutesy and it's not too like. Confusing with like the patterns or you know like the layering or like there's just not it's it's not confusing like it's very simple.、Um, the other girls like they do have what seems it's just I I feel like the fashion just seems like very modern, very like different layers, different panels, fabrics, patterns, different kind of silhouettes and styles.、Um, but I do think at least it does suit it suits every character individually. So I like Musa's、uh, look. Aisha very sporty. Techna has a Two piece on, very futuristic with the pearlescent shine.、Um, and Stella, I like how she is kind of like she looks a little bit more elevated because she's wearing like these、um, what seems to be more of like a luxurious ensemble.、Um, and she's she even has sunglasses on. So yeah, I think they they do look very fashionable overall. I would say they look good.、Um, and I forgot to mention, but they actually we actually we hear we hear what they sound like in the previous.、Um, Shots where we see the early concept art of the girls in their fairy looks. They actually、uh, play a little audio of each character.、Um, I would say the biggest change, or like the ones that I noticed that stood out to me, would be Flora because Flora now seems to be seems to have an actual like Hispanic accent. You know, like she actually sounds Spanish,、um, which is great. I feel like I, I don't know, maybe maybe she did, maybe they did have a little bit of、um, her heritage in the original series, but I feel like. For this reboot series, season nine, whatever,、um, at least they're really they really seem to be、um, doubling down on the heritage of the characters, especially with Flora, and you know, like making it clear that no, she has an accent. She's she, you know, her heritage is important,、um, and it seems like they're really gonna play with that as well. So I think that's important. That's great. Musa, she sounded very,、um, she sounded very like、uh, light, you know, like airy,、uh, kind of I guess good because she's a she's a musician.、Um, Techna. Really shocking. Techna sounded really monotone,、um, and her voice was more low. Like interesting, interesting.、Uh, maybe like I guess because she's like a into technology, maybe she wants to sound like a robot. <laughs> So I don't know,、um, and then Bloom, Bloom's voice was a little bit generic. I didn't like hers the most.、Uh, Stella's was also pretty generic, but still, you were able to hear her bubbliness in her, you know, way of way that she spoke. And then Aisha's voice also was really fun.、Um, it definitely captured Aisha's Aisha, Aisha's essence. So I think I liked all of the voices, but especially、uh, Flora's, Musa's, and Techna's,、um, and Aisha too. I think the only ones I didn't like were Bloom's.、Uh, And Stella, I guess, but Stella at least sounded like Stella. You know, I think for Bloom, I don't really know if I felt Bloom in the voice. But、um, anyways, obviously those were just really short snippets, and obviously these are all just very early behind the scenes、um, shots and footage of the、uh, of the process of the developers and what they're going through right now to finalize the show. So、uh, they might change, the characters might look different. This might not be finalized. So let's see what happens. But this is a good visualizer again for what is to come. Next year again. This is coming next year, and we're also getting dolls made by Joki Preziosi and、um, Playmates Toys. So we're getting dolls too, guys. I'm so excited. So I guess from what I've seen so far, I am excited. I think it's they're going in the right direction for sure. It looks good.、Um, I my only worry really is that it maybe feels too generic and too safe, you know, and maybe it's too similar to Miraculous Ladybug, you know, like the CGI models, the style, right? I just feel like it. It looks and feels too similar、um, to Miraculous Ladybug, and it just feels too generic. You know, it's a Wings Club series. It's it's the reintroduction、uh, for many fans to the series over overall. It's it's to the franchise as a whole. Like this is gonna be a return to force for the whole brand. So you just you'd you'd think that they would want to really、um, you know hit it out of the park with a really capturing. 
uh, and bold aesthetic and like art style direction. But what we have here instead, it just feels very generic. It feels safe and there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, I guess they don't really want to risk anything. They don't they don't want to, you know, make any wrong moves. They really just want to make it make it so that it does well enough when it does come out eventually. So um and I, t I totally get that, you know, obviously if they went too artistic, maybe it would also not be good. But I feel like here they really did go a little bit too generic. So maybe if they would have had a little bit more of the creative flourish in these animations and maybe, you know, the designs, the art style at the very least, because I mean, look at Monster High G3. Um, those are CGI models, you know, but at least with the art style in the way it is executed with the proportions, the character design, the world building, um, it looks different. It is able to stand on its own with the visuals, right? Right. So I feel, I feel like that's a good comparison. But here with Wings Club, the way they went with the character models and the environment, um, it really just feels too similar to like, again, Ladybug, <laughs> Miraculous, right? Um, and it just feels too generic. Um, and for a Wings Club, again, for a Wings Club return, you don't want generic. You want it to be outstanding. You want it to be ideally something that is amazing looking. Um, and it looks good. It looks good. But I'm just saying it could look even better. It could look even more interesting and it could look even more captivating. But maybe that's just me. Um, I am excited and I definitely cannot wait to see like what it actually ends up looking like. And yeah, let's let's see. Let's wait. I am excited. But what do you think? Let me know down below. But that was the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to. And of course, so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay pg kisses